and your part of your family are big into real estate. They have their own real estate company. They love architecture. They love landscape architecture. They love to create these beautiful environments. And so the surroundings that you find yourself in are beautiful, but inside you feel the turmoil of the people around you. You feel unsafe. You feel the tension. You know that things aren't right. The stories aren't adding up. They're, you're getting fed bolt BS and you know that something's not, things aren't fitting. It doesn't feel like a home. You know in your heart that you're meant to be an individual and you're meant to be independent from others and that you're not supposed to be forced to conform. There's still so much from my childhood that I don't, that it's just either been blocked off or it's just there wasn't emotion attached to it or something that I, so I don't have a lot of memories. I don't know if I'll unlock them later. It doesn't, it doesn't matter because that to me is the big difference is that to create a home, you have to be able to connect with each other and you have to, like I will, I would rather live in a hut with my child and us have each other and have peace and be in nature. I mean, yes, I would love, I would love to be able to travel and like, there's other things of course that I want to do, but to me, that's what the darkness wants us to believe. It wants us to believe in this outer shell of a life that has no, no, it's, it's like selling you a lie. It's like, you can attain these beautiful things. You can have these things, but there's nothing, there's no connection to them. Like you're just going to sell your soul and give yourself all of yourself away in order to have these things. And like that we have this freedom of speech so that we think that we can just vomit all of our stuff on each other. Like that's not the kind of life I want to live. That's not the kind of environment that I want to be in where people don't see me as intrinsically valuable or don't care about not crossing my boundaries. Like there's that, there's no respect there. And for me, this is an emotional experience. Like Mine has been more the opposite of like trying not to, is fighting depression and not, and trying to not let myself get stuck in emotions because I recognize that I used to see emotions as a gift and I think they're beautiful and I wouldn't want to live without them, but yet I understand that it's just a messenger. It's just here to, to send me a message and to show me if I'm on track or if I'm off track or if something, you know, different things, it's a signal essentially. Um, but that's where creativity comes from. That's where connection comes from. That's where I don't want to live in a world that's control that's controlling and that's fear based and I don't really want to be just this like wild and outlandish like F you guys <laughs> I'm doing me like it's not like I want to it's not like I want that but I don't know. It's so weird because I've been seeing that so much lately with like the spiritual community is a lot of people are just doing their being, being on their own. Um, and I do think that especially if more people awaken that we will be able, we will be able to find like a soul tribe and stuff like that. But it is just such an interesting journey to, 
have such a different experience and to value freedom and individuality above everything else and to know that we're meant to value and respect each other regardless of anything else like it has nothing to do with even the experiences that I've had like I'm we're each individual humans that deserve to be met with presence and love 